thanks Eric for showing the world to me. It was uh, the, the first exposure that I had to Eric's story was seeing his picture on Everest and it was like on a poster in the airport. And I'd pass by it all the time and I was thinking like, whoa, this is just so crazy that you know a, a, a guy with Eric's challenges could go and climb Mount Everest. Who or what was your greatest inspiration in life? After going blind as a child, Eric Weinmayer never dreamed he would become one of the few people on the planet Earth to scale the seven summits. Take a look at how a bus driver's harsh words inspired Eric to reach unbelievable heights. I used to just totally harangue the driver. You know, I don't belong here. I'm not blind. I should be on the bus with my friends. And one day, I guess he got sick of hearing me complain, and he just screeched to a halt, and he told me to get out. Uh, I thought he was going to leave me there on the road, but instead he took a basketball, and the next thing I knew, uh, this hard basketball bounced off the side of my head. He said, Eric, you can't catch a basketball. You're blind. And I thought, well, that's harsh. And then he said, though, this time, Eric, I want you to put your hands out. I'm going to tell you when it's coming. And I put my hands out. He threw the ball. I caught it. And he said, Eric, stop fighting people. Let people help you. You might just learn to catch again. He doesn't have any idea how much he affected my life. It's a great example that the smallest encounters can lead to big changes. No Barriers is really designed for everyone. Uh, despite whether they feel they're too slow, too old, too blind, too disabled, uh, it's for really anybody who dreams big and has a sense of their life as a great adventure. A lot of us were struggling learning how to be independent and uh, just having kind of self-assurance that we could be independent, but at the same time making sure that we could all work together as a team so that we could all just have an awesome time. Some buddies and I, we got together and we were talking about this dream that we had to go climb Kilimanjaro. It just so happened that the No Barrier Summit was happening out in Colorado, so we just went out. I mean, it was, it was amazing just seeing other people with so many different challenges and, and, and not just talking about overcoming them, but actually doing it. You know, living uh, the outdoors life and, and be able to go out and just experience nature and, and, and just that sense of freedom that comes with it. I think a no barriers mindset really means that you do not let fear control your life. It means that you think beyond yourself and what you believe you're capable of and you give yourself a chance to have experiences and learn that you are capable of doing anything you really set your mind to doing. There was a unified goal at the end of it which was to reach that, that summit safely and just like you have in the military where you're, everybody cared about the life of their fellow veterans. I met some great other soldiers and their strength to jump back in the arena per se and, and to face their fears and to face their challenges just like I was, it was really rewarding and inspirational. Hey Eric, thank you so much for being the incredible person you are. Thank you for giving so many veterans this opportunity and the programs you've created. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to reach the summit of a lifetime in 2012. And thank you for helping me to see clearly the person I am and the strengths that I have. I'm so thankful. Eric is unique because he's so many things. He's of course a, a great athlete, but he's also a, a great artist. Uh, he's a great communicator. You can see the, the future when some of us can't see the future. And that's, that's all bottled in a single person. And it, it expressed coherently in a single person in a lyrical, beautiful way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Eric, for helping with the No Bears Boston Fund. Uh, together, we will, we will assist those Boston bombing victims. Um, they need our help. They want to dream big and uh, together we're going to make it happen. So thank you so much, Eric.
Thanks, Eric, for helping the next generation of kids. Thank you, Eric, for helping me reach my summit. There were so many different types of people involved with different abilities and disabilities, and I think that motivated me a little bit more to actually complete the hike because I thought if this group of people can do it, I can do it too. So while we were hiking back, we all stopped for a minute to just rest and get some water and so I just kind of looked up at the sky a little bit and I could see stars for the first time in my entire life. Thank you so much Eric for helping me see the stars. It's really changed my life. You know sometimes people will tell me like when I, they go and look at me and the challenges that I've been through that's hard to imagine and it's so incredible to go and think about Eric being blind and, and living his life like he has, climbing the highest mountains in the world. He does things that, uh, that just constantly get me to go and question like my own capabilities in my own life and get me to go and examine like what am I really able to go and do once I get out of my own way. Thank you Eric for changing the way that the world perceives disability and thank you for living your life without barriers.